Hey guys, um, I just had a haul today. I was so excited. It's only about three books and a shirt. And I'm going to show you it first because I can't wait. I ordered this online. Um, for those of you that like Allie Carter's Gallagher Girl series, she is on Cafe Press right now. And there it is. It's pink. I don't know if it shows it up in the in the uh, video, but it's it's like a light pink and then it's a dark pink and it has Gallagher Girls, which is so cool. And then the back has spy and then the word spy in all the different languages because you know all the girls can speak all different languages. So that is like the coolest ever. I'm so happy with it. Um, and then it says no matter how you say it, you can still be a Gallagher girl. That is so cool, and it's got um, AllieCarter.com on it. But if you go to uh, CafePress.com, you can get these. And they have them in all different colors. They've got green and yellow, and I think I'm going to order me a yellow one, too. So, I was so happy with this. Um, and this this is actually a library book um, that I found, and it's called Reese Kingdom Falling. Get the glare out of there. Well, shoot. There we go, a little bit. But it's a girl with a, some kind of weird knife, and she looks like piratey looking. And um, then it's got a wolf on the back, which is cool. But um, it said on here, it sounded really good. The first line on the, the cover thing says, uh, Reese has never been happy as a princess. She'd rather be hunting or fighting than sitting through another lesson on court etiquette. So I thought that sounded cool. But it says on here to continue on, it's going to be a TV show it looks like. Or maybe it is. I haven't figured it out yet. But it says um, Reese's Journey continues at sci-fi.com. So I don't know if it's ever going to be a show or if that's just sci-fi.com, the website. So I thought that was kind of interesting and looked good. And the really cool thing is the chapters are named, which... Well, they're not really named. I take that back. It says it actually says the time period. Like this says uh, now, and then I saw some chapters says later. Some chapters says two years ago. So I'm looking forward. It's not real thick. I'm looking forward to get reading that. And then I was so excited. I got Bloody Jack, which if you guys have seen the rev the review that was done on this one. Uh, I am in love with this series. There's a the tenth one comes out in October. I'm listening to these on audio. The audio guy, or I'm sorry, the audio girl is amazing, and I wish I remembered her name so I could uh, tell you guys. But I'll do that on the next one when I review the third book. Uh, Blake's going to review the second book coming soon, and then I'm doing the third. I love them. Um, this book was so so good. The second one was really good. I really liked it. Um, but uh, her journey is not actually on the ship on book two. She's back on a ship on book three. So um, it is just amazing. I have fell in love with this character and all the characters that she's on the ship with and everybody that's with her. And um, it's amazing. You guys have got to. I think it would be really cool to read too. But anyway, how I got this book, let me back up. I ran into the library yesterday and you could see this has got like a hole in it, but that's okay. Um, it's not in the best shape, but they were having to use bookstore or use book sale at the library. And I paid a dollar for this. So I was so happy um, to find this. I went over to the YA section and I thought they're never going to have an, you know, they never really have anything. It's all like old stuff or stuff that you've never heard of and just like things that I probably wouldn't even read. And then I saw this. It's hardback. and um, But it's really cool. And I'll show you and see the binding is actually broken, which is okay. I'm going to I'm gonna try to repair some of it. But the really cool thing, too, I was so happy. She is on the HMO. She says HMS Dolphin. And that's a ship picture of that. And her and the crew end up always talking about the foretop, which is right there. So that was cool to see. But that's the first ship that she's on um, in book one. And 
also just the way that that it's written the girl really reads it good um, on the audio but I've as you can see I usually don't dog ear books but I have because I've kind of went through here and kind of dog eared my favorite moments and so I was kind of working through that the other day and kind of reading my favorite parts and just reading it and the way it's written so um, like it'll have like instead of he can do anything it'll be like he can do anything so because it's real British and it's like a deep street British accent which is really cool back then so this book I highly 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 recommend and I love it so much I will listen to all the audios because the girl is just amazing it's kind of like Jim Dale with the Harry Potters but um I also wanted these on my bookshelf, so I was so I was gonna buy them anyway, and so I was really happy to get this in this kind of old form and stuff, and see it. It says that it's an adventure, which it definitely is. So I love this book, and I don't compare anything to. I hate to ha compare anything to Harry Potter because the standard's so high there, and I would never do that. But except with this book. It has nothing to do with wizards and magic and all that stuff, but it's it's pirates and ships and adventure. And I will really think that people who like Harry Potter or love Harry Potter will love this series. I really do, because it's adventurous. It's about um, uh, several characters, and you grow to love them, and just their adventures and what happens with them. And I really think that you guys would. So either get the book or the audio. So highly recommend and then I was equally, triply excited because I got The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Um, really excited about this. This is a pretty big, thick book, which I was happy with. And it's really cool. Um, it's This is kind of real soft feeling. And then here's what the... It's got the little LB for Little Brown, who she went with as a publisher now instead of Scholastic and um, it's orange on the inside there's the casual vacancy but it's really cool it's too Neil I think that might be her husband but um, this is this is really gonna be an interesting thing for me because I want to read whatever, anything that she writes of course because of my love for Harry Potter and I know it's nothing like Harry Potter it's a serious um, novel, and it's, a, you know, about grown-ups, it's an adult, but, um, and I had heard that it has some curse words in it and some other kind of stronger stuff, but I'm really just interested to read more of her writing and so excited about that. This book right here, this cover, I would probably never pick this up in a bookstore. Just looking at the cover, Seeing that it was adult, an adult book and reading what it was about, I just would never do it. But because it's her, I definitely have to. So I'm so eager to see if I enjoy it. I've heard a couple different reviews um, that people are saying that it's some, a few people are saying it's really boring, and a few people are saying it's just as magical as Harry Potter, her writing, and it's really good and intriguing. And you want to find out. Uh, the end and how things work out and how how it ends. So I'm really excited to do that. I'm this is probably going to be the next book I'm reading. I'm reading The Lux by Anna Goberson right now, which I'm really enjoying. I'm about fourth of the way through, and uh, this is my next read. So I hope you guys ran out and got it, all you Harry Potter lovers, and support J.K. Rowling. And I hope you have a great weekend. See you guys later, and happy reading.